you don't have something nice to say don't say anything at all if you don't have something nice to say don't say anything at all good morning girls today i came with a new topic that is a communication skills first of all what is meant by communication skills the imparting or exchange of information by speaking or writing or using some other medium the successful conveying or sharing of ideas and feelings is called communication skills actually communications can be communication skills are the abilities you use when giving and receiving different kinds of information or ideas some example includes new ideas or a feeling even an update on your project communication skills involve listening speaking observing and empathizing so communication is very important what we feel what we thought what are the ideas we used to share we want to share it is the main thing for that we need communication skills the communication skill should be effective then only our message will reach to what to the another person first of all we have to decide what we are going to share at the same time you have to confirm with your point what point you are going to share with other that is called communication skills next one different categories of communication actually communication can be categorized into three basic types that is verbal and second one non verbal and third one written communication first of all verbal communication in which you listen to person to understand the meaning and second one non verbal communication in which you observe a person and infer meaning and third one written communication in which you need their meaning first of all we are going to see deeply that verbal communication verbal communication as well as the spoken both are same which includes face to face telephone radio or television and other media it's called a verbal communication next one non verbal communication covering a body language gesture otherwise you we can see as a sign sign language also how we dress or act where we stand and even our perfume can say our non verbal communication there are many subtle ways that we communicate even with others the tone of our voice can give a clues to mood or emotional state list hand signals or a gestures and to spo and to your spoken message this is called non verbal communication if the person understand through your body movement with the your way of a uh, a uh, way of walking way of standing and way of uh speaking the tone of your voice it is called a non verbal communication it is able to understand those who are effective to understanding the communication next one written communication written communication which includes letters emails social media books magazines the internet and other media that is those things are in printed that is called a written communication until recent times a relatively small number of writers and publishers were very powerful when it came to communicating the written word today we can all write and publish our ideas on online which has led to explosion of information and communication 
possibilities and then one more that is visualization through the picture we can understand through the picture we can express our ideas thoughts how it is means through logos through maps graphs and charts these are called these are coming under visual visualization communication can all communicate the message through this categories the next one that is three parts of communications that is the sender the message the receiver that means the recipient a communication therefore has a three parts the sender the message and the recipient the sender encodes the message usually in a mixture of words and non verbal communication it is transmitted to some way for example it is in the form of a speech or in the form of a writing and the recipient decoded first of all what does mean by encode and decode first of all what is what do you mean by encoding and decoding in communication that is in basic terms human communicate through a process of encoding and decoding the encoder is a person who develops and sends the message the audience then de de decodes or interprets the message for themselves decoding is the process of turning communication into thoughts and the next one what is a difference between encoding and decoding in communication the encoding of a message is the production of the message it is system of coded meaning and in order to create that the sender needs to understand how the word how the world is comprehensible to the members of the audience the decoding of a message is how a audience a member is able to understand and interpret the message this is the difference between encoding and decoding next one that is importance of communication skills why it is important the ability to communicate information accurately clearly and has intended in a virtual life that is important life skill and something that should not be overlooked it's never too late to work on your communication skill and by doing so you may well find that you improve your quality of life why giving a importance for communication means when we expressing our thoughts and ideas it gives a creating awareness to fulfill a goal avoid the isolated situation highlights the important issues progress and development we will see in our in our goal it, those who are educating it is very it shows that we are educating it them he says importance of communication skills as well as a good communication skills good communication skills making eye contact while community communicating with people is important because it shows you are listening to them second point not shivering and shouting because it can be intimidating third one not chewing gum while having a conversation with someone not texting while speaking to someone as it will make them think you are ignorant you are ignorant 
Fifth point, always trying to speak clearly and use words everyone can understand. Make positive facial expression. Listening to the person you are speaking to. Have a relaxed body language. Don't speak over other people. Do keep to the point when explaining something. In education, communication is essential for. It is very important one. Understanding a role and assignment. Planning and carrying out learning activities. Coordinate, coordinating approaches with students. Providing information to teachers on students' progress and behaviors. And building a positive relationship with students, teachers and other staff. So these things are all important to importance of communication skills. If we giving our importance to the communication, we will run our life smoothly and confidently and we will work we will ready to face the success of our anything every successful back they have a good communication so that's why communication skill is very important the next one that is effective communication skills how to be effective no matter how brilliant and invaluable your idea it is worthless unless you can share it with others effective communication is crucial at every level of any organization to effectively communicate a complex idea requires skills behind elementary conversation Communication is a two-way process involving an exchange of ideas. Communication is effective if the message received is the same as the message sent. If you are communicate a complex idea, it requires skills. Even the it is difficult to understand if you use the skills if you show your talent to make them to understand the difficult one that is called communication skill why is effective communication is important Effective communication will aid a motivation, can enhance a problem solving, speed of decision making, speed of response to market changes, reduce risk of errors, effective coordination between departments. Benefits of effective communication improved decision making earlier warning of a potential problems increased productivity stronger business relationships clearer marketing messages enhanced professional images the importance of effective communication that means the development of effective communication skills can greatly affect the quality of customer service the delivery of customer service workplace and productivity effective communication skills can also assist, assist you with resolving complaints and handling confrontations participating in staff meeting maintaining your personal rights as an employee in a learning and or a training situation
effective communication fundamentals of communication that is definition meaning types and process and importance effective communication concept and practice of effective communication barriers to effective communication methods to improve improve a communication skill written communication skills report writing letter writing preparation of promotional material in oral communication skills understanding audience use of language use of tones understanding body language the next one it is important four skills that is listening speaking reading and writing so the four communication skills okay how are they related to our communication skills reading writing speaking and listening are a basic communication skills necessary for effective communication in any environment particularly the workplace in a recent study research examined the relationship between these four skills through its a best a source test scores and found some interesting results the four basic communication skills you may have heard of these basic communication skills categorized when people discuss learning a language these are the four areas that you have to learn and excel at to be considered fully fluent in a language and they can also help us think about improving communication skills in general the first thing we are going to see speaking when we mention a basic communication skills most people first think of speaking there are a huge range of skills and abilities that fall under this basic category the range from having a large vocabulary to using voice tone effectively to using descriptions and story to enhance your expression for convenience we can also categorize the non verbal non written expressions as form of speaking some might even include the ability to express oneself through music or dance in this category overall the category includes anything that has to do with you are expressing yourself ways to other than true written words are imaginary the next one it is writing this category will include has all written verbal communication skills so written letters signs stories plays screen plays novels and much more are accounted for but it also includes a graphic software kind logos icons drawing pictures and so on all help us express ourselves in ways that do not involve speaking the next one understanding or listening in this category different people refer to this category in different ways but the most common names used for it are understanding and listening in any event what people are referring to as its ability to comprehend someone else non written communication this includes not only knowing what the words they utter mean but factoring in how their non verbal communication and their particular personal and social characteristics and lie light on the 
meaning next one reading this is the ability to make sense of written communication of any kind it involves not only recognizing the words but being able to extract the meaning so has to attain comprehension it could also be applied to the ability to appreciate and analyzing a graphical artistic works such as those mentioned under the category of writing so this is the last skill it is a reading so these are the four skills we are going to learn deeply in the next class when you are considering communication skills activities to improve your ability you might want to look at these four categories and assess your strength and weakness in each they will give you a, a framework of understanding where your skills are most developed and where you could use more work this categories can also be useful when teaching others about communication as a learner it helps to have your small focused schemes with which to think about the task head the more extensive type of communication skills and list of communication skills linked at the beginning of this lesson and can also helpful to facilitate delivering delivering in your more deeply but the basic communication skills categories give you a broader overview through which to organize a big picture view of communicating endeavor as a whole i hope you are you are all understand my explanation thank you girls thank you for watching 